Here we go, live TV. Let's jump right in. Jared writes and says, I've been battling addiction for over four years now. I read my Bible and go to church, and I know how I'm supposed to beat this addiction. However, I'm struggling with actually following through with the steps. Can you please help me and tell me what to do to defeat this addiction? Jerry, the problem is you are trying to fight the addiction mm, good yourself. Word. Good word. You know, there's such a thing as, we were just talking about grace, you turn it over to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let the Lord do it. You've got to submit everything about healing, everything about miracles is all by the grace of God. The Apostle Paul said, did, did you do that through the works of the Lord, the hearing of faith? It's faith. So you believe that God is going to set you free. And then you begin to praise him and thank him, and day by day, now listen, as far as an addiction, you form a habit in 21 days. You break a habit in 21 days. So for the next 21 days, you don't smoke, drink, watch, whatever it is that you've got the problem with, you don't do it. Each day, each day, I belong to Jesus. I'm going to pray Jesus. This day, I'm not going to give in to that addiction this day. Not next year, not next week, not forever, just this day. I'm not going to do it. Next day, next day, next day, after 21 days. I used to smoke a pack and a half, two packs of cigarettes a day, day after day after day. So I saw what it did to people, and I, uh, I was in law school, and I put out a cigarette, and... But the first day it was tough. Next day, next day, after 21 days or so, I got so I couldn't stand the smell of them. So, it, it, you know, and I was set free and I haven't smoked since. So that's the way it is. You get rid of the, the cigarettes, you get rid of the coke, the marijuana, the sex tapes, whatever it is that's bugging you, get them out of your sight, and then each day. Okay? Next question. Good word. Christina says, I watch your show and see people being blessed because they tithe. I want to tithe, but my husband won't let me. He says we need all the money that we have. I was really bummed when he said this, and I want God to bless us, but I was told that my husband is the head of the house, and I got to do what he tells me to do. Does Jesus know my heart, and if my husband won't well, let me give? He, he knows your heart, darling, but uh, you're going to be suffering because you've got a bad husband. and. Your husband is bringing a curse on your family. And so you might tell him, you watch this show, and I said that he's bringing a curse on you. And <laughs> maybe he'll listen. Probably not, but he might. <laughs> but if, it, if you've got some money of your own, if you're earning money, you can tithe out of that. If you have an allowance, you can tithe out, tithe out of that. But you can't force your husband to do what he don't want to do, but just recognize you remember Nabal and uh, his wife said, you know, he, he's, his name is Folly and he's a fool. But, uh, you know, you remember he was going to go after David.